today we will see how to draw the network diagram the activities will be given to us and the description along with the immediate predecessor activities will be given in the question and like this it can be also given that the description for each of the activity like suppose my activity a represents the design and activity b represents say tender and same way for all the activities description can be given to us but we are not concerned with that for drawing a network diagram we'll just use the interrelationship among the activities so as we can see that for a there is no immediate predecessor that is firstly from our node 1 we'll draw the arrow that will represent the activity a and the head event will be 2 now as we can see here that for activity b the immediate predecessor is activity a so i'll draw next arrow that will represent my activity b and here i'll write it as 3 the next is activity c for which the immediate predecessor is activity b but before that as we can see here that a is also the immediate predecessor of the activity e that is like this we'll draw one more arrow and here on above the arrow i'll just write it as e and i'll not write any number in this node before that we will draw the activity c then here i'll give the number as 4 and now our next activity firstly we'll just see this f g and h have their immediate predecessor as e that is from e there are three succeeding activities which is f g and h and d f g is the immediate predecessor of the activity k so just let's take one node where we'll connect the three activities which is f g and h firstly we need to draw d activity d then on this node only we'll connect the activities f g and h For that I'll just draw an arrow representing activity G from my node 5. Now as I don't want to use a curved arrow, so I'll just use dummy activity. and connect my activity F with my activity E. Now we'll give the numbering which is here 6 and here it is 7. And as we know that activity H also has its immediate predecessor activity as E. So one more arrow will come out from this node 5 which is for activity H. then as we already know that our next activity is activity k for which the immediate predecessor activities are d f and g and d f and g all the three activities meet at the node 7 so this is how we can draw our next activity which is activity k now from node 8 
will draw the activity j and then for i and m the immediate predecessor activities are h and l so firstly let's just draw j that is we'll take out the next arrow from node 8 this will be activity j and here it will be node 9 now our next activity that will represent is l and here i am drawing it downwards because i need to connect h and l so we'll just erase this h and give a longer arrow always make a habit of drawing the network diagram using a pencil so that you can easily erase it from node 10 we'll draw two arrows one for activity i and the second one for the activity m Here is my activity M and this is my activity I. Now I'll just give the node numbers which is here 11 and here 12. And also to complete the logic of this network diagram, we'll connect this using a dummy activity. So this is how the question is given and we have to construct the network diagram by seeing the immediate predecessor activity and making proper use of the dummy activities and also before drawing any arrow from the preceding activity that is predecessor activity make sure that there is no other succeeding activity like here as you can see if i was not aware regarding my activity e then i would have just drawn a straight arrow for my activity b and then when I reach up to activity D, then again I'll have to erase all these things because as I have to draw two arrows coming out from my activity A. So always have a habit of reading the immediate predecessor before drawing the network diagram.